Hi everyone, my name is Bernard Cooper, for those that don't know. I've been asked by Pastor Andrew to do a recap of Sunday's message that Pastor Mark spoke on our new series that we're starting called Reconstruct. It was a great message for me and it had more of a New Year's type feel of a message and I think it was really, um, it's really good to start this new series as we sort of start the second half of this 2020. For a lot of us, well, for the majority of the world, 2020 has started very rocky, very crazy. And with this pandemic, we've had to adjust to a lot of new changes. But it's a message like this that was, that was really good and one that really hit home for me. One of the things that I thought about when I listened to this message, and I listened to it a few times, um, was basically our whole Christian life. We're under construction and we need to reconstruct. And basically what I mean by that, for example, when you buy a new home, you want to make that home better and you want to make that home more like the house that you, you and your family would want to live in. One year you might want to redo the kitchen. The next year, the dining room. The next year, the bathroom. The next year, the basement and so on and so forth. Because you want to build that home that you think is perfect for you and your family. And it's the same idea, especially after um, I listened to this message again. A message that I've heard hundreds of times from Mark and from other pastors. Basically, we always need to strive to live more like Jesus and to be more like Him. We no longer live for ourselves when we become Christians. We live for God. One of the verses that really stuck out to me, I think there was four different verses that was read. But one that stuck out for me was 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17. Therefore, if anyone in Christ, the new creation has come. The old is gone and the new is here. That verse stuck out to me for the simple fact that when I was seven years old, I gave my life to Christ. And I had that scripture um, I will never forget it clear as day. I gave my life to Christ that Saturday night. And then the next day, I walk up to the altar and my pastor prayed over me, um, as he did many others. And he said that scripture. And after that scripture was said, I walked out of the church thinking when I wake up tomorrow, everything is going to be different. All my sins are gone, which was true. And I will never get tempted again because I have Jesus. In fact, it was the complete opposite. I felt like I got tempted more. But what changed was my heart. What changed was um, that it wasn't that I didn't sin. It was that I cared now when I was sinning. And I tried my hardest not to sin. The new sees situations differently. The new sees people differently. The new act differently than the world. And that's the challenge that we're all on as we start this series, is to be reminded that as Christians, we have to be able to see the new in ourselves. And we have to remind ourselves on a consistent basis. We have to be different than the way the world is acting. We have to see situations differently. And the only way we truly can do this is if we continuously plug into Jesus Christ. And I think Mark said it best. Um, I'm going to try to paraphrase what he said. He basically said, if you want to be like somebody, you have to invest in the way that person acts and lives. And all my life, I grew up idolizing Kobe Bryant. And sometimes when I was a kid, I felt like I started to talk like him. I wanted to dress like him. I wanted to be like Kobe. As I got older, I truly understand the only person I want to be like is Jesus Christ. And to be able to do that, I have to pray diligently. I have to read my Bible every day. I have to do things that's of God and not of the world. And sometimes that may mean sacrificing things that I think is right for the greater good of the body of Christ. So I want to encourage everyone as we start this new series that everyone might be able to tune in and each week sort of pick out little key nuggets of where they can learn and where they can grow in their walk with God. During this time and during this year, it's been very, very difficult for all of us. And I truly feel like 
getting more in depth with Jesus is the best thing that can happen to us as we finish off this last part of 2020. Thank you.